we knew we wanted a grass-fed beef brand and one that would really showcase what is unique and special about Australian product. So we found the regenerative community and knew that this was a story really important for us to tell, especially in light of all the rise of fake meats and all the negative attention around livestock and the impact that that has on the environment. And we wanted to put our products into a marketplace that looked for a product that we produced that was regenerative and through their program we were able to get our product to the consumer that that wanted um, that end result. So our Roots regenerative framework is built around two sets of principles. Firstly the soil health principles which we see relative to all agriculture and then we wanted to dive in and really celebrate what is unique about cattle grazing, so we wanted to emphasise the grazing principles. Our regenerative framework built around these principles, that's essentially what's going in, they're the inputs and the management style, and then what comes out, the outcomes and the benefits, we've defined as our six roots of regenerative grass-fed beef. And these six roots are increasing soil health, increasing biodiversity, sequestering carbon, harnessing the water cycle, animal well-being and farmer well-being, which are two extra elements that we're really passionate about that goes beyond just the environmental focus and really harnessing the nature of animal welfare and the farming community. For us, it's plan, monitor, manage, so we need to know what we're doing in the paddock and then um, time-controlled grazing. So if we don't adjust the rate of rest to the rate of growth, we can't can't manage that. To follow those two principles and then adjust our stocking rate to carrying capacity. We very much so follow the grazing principles put together by RCS and that's enabled us to see the capacity of the landscape start to improve and through those management principles we're then able to develop our land with infrastructure, um, water and wire and that's enabling us to increase our mob sizes and then um, create a longer rest period and that also increases the density of those mobs and with that the diversity through these paddocks is improving and we're seeing new species that weren't there before. Improving soil health through these grazing practices is a, an offshoot of, of our grazing practices and without healthy soil we don't have healthy land managing the rest, the, the plants are able to actually establish better root systems. If when they're in rest, we are then sequestering carbon into the soil. We're building humus and organic matter, which leads into better water holding capacity. We're leaving good ground cover and we're sequesting moisture up in the top of the landscapes. Through that ground cover and dry matter, we're seeing plant density improve and fill in in places where grass hasn't grown before. We've seen an increase in the dung beetle population. We've done bird studies now that showed that our bird numbers are increasing on our waterways. We're seeing a lot more native flora and fauna coming back through our wildlife corridors along our creek systems. So the credibility in our verification and certification system is really important mainly for consumers when we are setting out to define a new category of beef. We want to ensure that producers and consumers alike are confident that there is robustness to support the claims that we are making. We have deliberately put a third party, an independent third party to come and verify and certify all of our processes and verification systems in place. Data we're collecting is stacking up and the evidence being provided. No one season is the same, there's always variations. However, an average over the years and the records being collected are, are showing that our yields and our dry matter produced is increasing through the practices. Our ADG and our, our weight gain through our livestock is increasing. We've seen a lift in our average daily gains by about 0.15 over the last three years. And we've also seen an increase in, in our dry matter yielded over the last three years of about five stock days per 100 mil of rain. That's been a big improvement in a short space of time. 
Animal welfare has been a really big focus for us and, and the handling of the livestock. They go on a journey when they leave here, so for us having them in a good headspace and having them happy and content on farm and then for the rest of their journey is important to us and through that we've seen our shrink decrease that's reduced by about two to four percent over the years and we're now seeing it sit at about 3.5 percent which is quite an improvement on what it was and that's just through animal management and the processes we follow. Being able to achieve that premium on a sales end and to be able to have the products in the right premium markets allows us to pay a premium back to producers. But the benefits far outweigh just a monetary benefit. Our role in trying to promote all the great work that's being done for sustainability within the Australian beef industry is something that everybody gets around us and is really supportive of. We see how this will change us into the future in terms of managing drought and drier seasons. It gives us the ability to forecast well ahead. We monitor rain on a rolling rainfall rather than a calendar year basis, so we are aware of where there's a cliff face in the rainfall, So we and we know that six plus months out, so we can actually forecast what our stocking rate to carrying capacity will look like if the season continues the way it's going and therefore we're able to adapt and begin a sell down if we need to or we can ramp those numbers up if, we, if we're seeing our carrying capacity lifting. It's food first and we're very fortunate that these regenerative principles being put in place on farm, they're fully supportive of producing more beef on the same amount of land with the same amount of rainfall. So driving sustainability and environmental sustainability supports the core cattle business and supports our ability to feed the world with a great nutritiously dense beef product.